Hey guys, what's up? Gaming Gear here. So, I'm gonna be walking you guys through my new PC build. It's a $3,000 price point build, which pretty pretty expensive build, but it's also fun to do for me because I can see all of the parts that I'm probably never going to buy, like the equivalent of what that part would cost in the future. Like when they have 8 cores in the future as the staple like quad cores are now there will be a 10 core and I'll want it so bad but it'll cost $500 so that's just my little example let's jump right into the build and the CPU for this build is going to be a Intel Core i7 3930K so it's a quad not quad excuse me a hexa core CPU full hexa one core two threads for each core, not like three cores and hardware implementation, two pipelines per core, like the um, the hexa cores for the AMD FX series. Even though they still do perform good for like, I think 130, 140 bucks is what they're selling for right now. Uh, it'll overclock pretty good, even though it doesn't have the unlimited um, what is it multiplier of the 3960X. What that means is that you know how like the 3770K can only go up to I think 58 is a multiplier, and then you're very limited. So basically, you're only um, in multiplying the what isn't the frequency like the megahertz. So you're very limited. You can max get like four, 5.8 with being as stable as it could be. I know 5.8 isn't going to be very stable unless you're in pro overclocker. But basically, what that means is that you can turn it up all the way to like a thousand. I know probably not that high, but you can just go keep on going up and up and up. Of course, it's going to be really hard to do, but it's good for. I don't know why pro overclockers don't do it. Probably because it's not Ivy Bridge. Um, but once Ivy Bridge E comes out, that's going to be awesome for overclocking like that. So back to the advantages. I got kind of sidetracked there. It has 12 megs of L3 cache as opposed to 15 on the 3960. K, not K, X. But you're not going to notice it that much unless you're heavy video editing and stuff. It also has a, I think, 400 megahertz down clock, which is way easy to achieve back when you overclock. This part is bought from Micro Center. It is the only part that is bought from Micro Center. So, just telling you guys that. Most of my CPUs I buy from Micro Center. You should know that by now. The motherboard is going to be a Asus Sabertooth. This is X79 based. So, it's going to have all of the great features of X79. Like, I think it has four, um, it has four 6 gigabit a second and four 3 gigabit, which I don't know why you, you would be using 3 gigabit on an enthusiast platform unless you were using, like, a, um, unless you're using hard drives, which, you know, everyone does use a hard drive. So... It's a good motherboard, it supports Tri, Crossfire X slash SLI, or Quad if you're using two, two dual GPU video cards. It has full 8 dims, has partial like thermal cover, th I think, over the um, I.O., which I don't get how that helps that much. I think it helps more on the, um, the Z77 base board, but, you know, whatever. And so, for the RAM, we are going to have... 32 gigabytes of Corsair XMS RAM, so it's got a low profile heatsink to not interfere with any sort of uh, cooler you have in the future, even though we're using water cooling here, so it won't interfere. It runs 1600 megahertz, and we're going to be using two kits of this, because for $3,000, you really should be getting 64 gigs. Or, if you want to spend like $10,000, you can get 3 g 32 gigabyte DIMMs from the uh, from HP on Newegg. Link to that down below. So the graphics card in this monster of a build is going to be a EVGA. Oh, sorry, <laughs> an EVGA GTX 690, four gigabyte. So it's two 680s, one PCB, only like 100 megahertz down clock. So that is awesome keeps the PCI lane nice and open so great stuff it's going to outperform any game that any that's going to outperform in any game excuse me 
that you can throw at it, maxed out, three 1080p monitors or something like that. Something crazy. And this will cost grand. I know, it's chump change, right? So the power supply is going to be a PC power and cooling 900 watt. So Also, this is from their Silencer MK2 brand. So, I've used this power supply before in one of my builds that I actually built with my friend. It's a great power supply, nice and reliable, 80 plus. I don't know what it is, I think it might be bronze, but you can check in the link to see that. It's a nice power supply, it's going to have plenty of power for our build. Not quite enough to run another 690 off of, but hey, it's only 150 bucks. So, the case we're going to be using is going to be the NZXT Switch 810. So this is a great case, it's got a nice big window. I use the black one in the photo because I think the black one's a lot more badass. Uh, it's going to have plenty of room for our water cooling and if you want to add a custom loop in the future it's great. It has a really cool feature where if you mount a fan onto the hard drive cage, like the interior of it facing all your motherboard parts and stuff, you can angle it so it faces your graphics card. Not down, just up, but that's really helpful. So. For the uh, what do we have? Oh yeah, for the SSD we have a OCZ Vertex 4. This is the 256 gigabyte version, so it's got a crap ton of storage, and it's the fastest SSD on the market. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've seen these things; they are insanely fast. And get this, it's only 209 bucks. I mean, that is a ridiculous price for this fast and this large of a SSD. So. For the hard drive, we're going to be using a Seagate Barracuda. This is going to be the 3 terabyte for Levar in 7200 RPM with 64 megs of cache. Fastest hard drive you can get, aside from like those Raptor ones, which are expensive for what they are. And, you know, it's 100 bu 150 bucks, and it's going to give you a lot of extra storage for anything that doesn't fit on your SSD. And, really cool thing, if you don't know, there's this app called Steam Mover where you can move games onto different drives and still have them work off Steam without having to reinstall Steam onto a different drive. So you can put the games you don't play on your hard drive and the games you are playing on your SSD, which is awesome. I personally use it because my hard drive is split in half because I did the Windows 8 beta and all that and it screwed it up. If you want to hear about that, just say I might make a video about that. That was pretty frustrating because I thought I lost my computer. But it's really helpful because my, what is it, my, hold on one second, I'm going to pump pull up command center um this is what i renamed it you can actually rename the um things like the uh, computer things on windows i don't know uh the hard drive i have e and f like e is the original beta i had and i ran out of space there so i'm constantly deleting stuff which is not too fun i'm in like a space situation now and of course i ran out of space on my 180 gig intel ssd a while ago so, for the optical disk drive, we have a Asus DVD Blu-ray blur Burner. Blurner. Blurner. Yes, we have an Asus Blu-ray blur Blurner. God, there's so many Bs. Um, it's 90 bucks. You're going to have to supply your own Blu-ray software, I think. Maybe, yeah, you're going to have to supply your own, but not a lot of them come with that. So, Plus, if you're a media enthusiast, you're going to be using your own software to view stuff anyway instead of Windows Media View. And the cooler, we have a Corsair H100. This is a great cooler. It's going to have plenty of space to fit in the Switch A10. And for 110 bucks, it's going to keep our um, Hexacore CPU nice and chilly. So the total for this build is only $2,979.09. Only that much. So pretty freaking cheap for considering you're getting a Hexacore graphics card, the fastest graphics card on a single PCB, also the most expensive, I might note. Unless, if you have $50, you can spring for the signature edition, which gets you a t-shirt and a poster. Yay! Anyway, so for this, you're going to be getting a rock-solid build, build, build. You're going to be getting a build. So, please remember to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and if you have a idea for a price point or a special kind of build for me to do, private message me on YouTube and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.